The Ola Bonoli beam is central to structural engineering and typically involves a beam with a span to depth ratio that's quite large. So the theory applies to very thin beams. So for example, with a span to depth ratio greater than 20. So we can neglect shear deformations that are considered in a Tymoshenko beam, which we'll look at later. And the theory assumes that plane sections remain plane. So before and after deformation, the sections remain straight and they also remain perpendicular to the neutral axis. And the deformation is only considered to be caused by the bending moment. So in this case we have a sagging moment, which is positive. And if we consider this cross section that has a width dx, then before deformation, if we look at a fibre above the neutral axis, then this here has a length ds. And after deformation, the neutral axis remains undeformed, so it has the same length. And the fibre that we looked at, that's at a distance y above the neutral axis, gets compressed in the top and has a deformed length ds dash. And the distance from the centre of curvature for the section to the neutral axis is given by the radius of curvature and therefore the strain in this fibre is equal to the deformed length of the fibre minus the original length of the fibre over the original length of the fibre. So ds dash is the radius of curvature minus y which gives that distance over here multiplied by d theta and then minus the original length of the fibre, which is equal to dx. So that will be rho d theta. And then over the undeformed length of the fibre. So rho d theta cancels with this one. And then the d thetas cancel. So we end up with the strain being minus y on the radius of curvature where well, y is the distance of the fibre from the neutral axis. Now recalling our equation for the bending stress, which is minus the bending moment by y on the second moment of area, and we had a negative sign to make tensile stresses positive and compressive stresses negative. And for a linear elastic material, the Young's modulus is the stress on the strain, so therefore, the strain is the stress on the Young's modulus. Which means that the strain is equal to minus MY on EI. And now we can cancel out the Y and a negative sign. So that gives the curvature is equal to the bending moment on the bending stiffness EI. And if we multiply through by EI, and we derived the curvature in the previous video in Cartesian coordinates as a second derivative of the vertical displacement with respect to x. So we end up with the bending stiffness by the curvature is equal to the bending moment, which is a function of x along the beam. And this here is the moment curvature equation, which is really one of the most important equations in structural engineering. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.